So it's exactly one year on since the start of the palm fertiliser experiment. And it's now time to look at the results. We'll judge it on a few factors. Number one, how many leaves have grown. Number two, how the roots have established. And number three, the overall colouring and condition of the plants. So if we look at number one, this is a nice deep green colour. This has been fed just palm focus and it's grown three and a half leaves in a year, which is the best performing palm. Next to it, by contrast, is a much yellower palm, which has actually had palm focus and palm booster. It's grown three leaves, it's grown quickly like number one, but for some reason it's a yellowish colour, it doesn't look too healthy. The third palm is just had a slow release the red fertilizer and that's grown two and a half leaves and it's a nice green colour but not as green as number one over there. Palm four, slightly yellowish, that's had slow release red powder and palm booster and that's grown just two leaves in that time. A palm five is the worst rooted well stable palm it's very unwell rooted, it's got one root to the side which has really affected its performance so we can't really compare this with the others. But just for reference this is the blue powder which is the feeding of the um, quick release um, fertiliser and that has grown one leaf and it's yellowy green, it's not too bad looking but um, because of its root and it's not grown much at all we go to number six, it's a nice sturdy palm, um, pretty green overall, and that's had blue powder and palm booster. That's grown two and a half leaves, not bad. Number seven's the seaweed extract with iron and the blue powder, that's two and a half leaves, and that's a good strong green colour. Number eight's had the seaweed, iron, and slow release, and that's grown two and a half leaves. And again, that's a good, strong green colour. Number nine is seaweed, iron, and palm focus, and that's grown three leaves. And again, that's a good, strong green colour. And finally, the control, which has basically just been watered, and that's grown two and a half leaves, and it's a nice, healthy green colour. So on the face of it, basically if it's grown less than two and a half leaves, it's no better than just giving it water. So the ones that have done better are all the ones that have had palm focus. And the best out of the ones with palm focus is actually just the one with palm focus on its own, which is number one, the strongest greenest colour and uh, the most leaves. Obviously we don't know what the roots are like yet, so we'll go and have a look at those now. So if we look at number one, which is the best looking palm that grew the most leaves, fed palm booster. It's got a good strong root ball, completely intact with the compost that it's in. And lots of secondary little roots growing off the main roots as well, so that's a good solid plant. Number two, it's got lots of big primary roots, but not as many secondary roots. You can see how it's falling apart quite a lot, the compost there. And that's the one with palm focus and palm booster. Number three, that's got lots of good roots, slow release, lots of big thick roots, but again not as quite as good as number one, but better than number two. Number four, which is a palm booster and slow release, that's pretty good. Got quite a lot of roots there all the way around and through. And number five was the worst performing one and as you can see the root ball's falling apart, there's not many roots in there at all. Go to number six, good solid root system, blue powder and palm booster, lots of nice primary roots there and a few feeding roots but it's a solid root ball so that's done well. And again with number seven, 
which is seaweed extract and blue powder. Decent root ball there, solid, all in one piece. Number eight now, seaweed extract, slow release, good solid root ball there. Lots of nice healthy roots, no dead roots. Number nine has fallen apart somewhat, not many roots at all. And that's palm focus and seaweed extract. And finally, the control. This has actually done really well, lots of good healthy roots, primary and secondary, and it's kept its root ball pretty well. So I think overall, in conclusion, if you want lots of leaves, palm focus is the way to go. And really, palm, palm boost has not made a massive massive uh, difference in this in this year example because even the control one looks really good I think the worst performing ones are basically the ones where the attachment of the main roots from the bottom of the trunk uh, have been very poor like in number five and number nine as well so there you are make of it what you will <laughs>